Again, you could use the formula or just simply write down what S is. I'm going to do the S thing because I think it's nice and convenient. It makes sense too. So uh, it's going to be 1 plus 1 over I plus 1 over I squared plus 1 over I cubed. Uh, I'm not going to write them all down, yada, yada, yada. The last one will be 1 over I to the 1,000. No, I'm not going to compute those individually. I can multiply both sides by I, like I did before, I plus 1 plus 1 over I plus 1 over I squared oh, plus yada, 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 1 over I to the 9, 9, 9. Now again, you say, how are you subtracting these guys over here? Any way you like. I'm going to do S minus IS this time. So it's going to be this minus that. Well, that disappears. That disappears. That disappears. That disappears. This disappears. And what he left off with? 1 over i to the 1,000 power. But you got this over here. That's going to be minus i now. All right? Got to figure this out. I'm going to factor an s out. And you get 1 minus i. Well, I'm going to point out that 1 over i to the 1,000 is really just i squared to the 500th power, minus i. i squared is minus 1, but I'm raising an even power, so it's going to be 1. So it's 1 minus i. D uh, divide both sides by 1 minus i. You get 1 minus i over 1 minus i, which is just 1. So I'm getting a really nice, easy pattern for these problems over here. right? So and as I say, it's, it, it's lucky I'm getting those. I'm getting 1, easy, getting 1. And for this one over here, I'm also getting 1. Now, of course, when we go into D, I have to think about it because you're saying something and it's going to infinity. Now, again, you might say, oh, it's going to 1 then because I just did three sums and then go to 1. That's not the case, by the way. So let's go to that.